How to use Obsidian for studying. Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to give you a tutorial on Obsidian, how to use Obsidian for study and more. So let's get into it. First of all, what you guys need to do is you're going to go to obsidian.md and you will land right here. Obsidian is a project and work management platform that allows you to create your own nodes. It's uh, quite similar to what we have as Notion and Monday.com. Obsidian is actually really famous and you can download it on your laptop and gives you a lot of different features and tools so first thing that you need to do is once you get to the website you need to click right here get obsidian for windows you can also get for mac linux and more so i'm going to click on get obsidian for windows and download the application once the application is downloaded this is what it will look like you need to actually create a folder first on uh, obsidian which is also known as a vault so once you create a vault here, I have created one for study. Now I will be able to create different pages into it and I will be able to create new folders, new projects. So let's actually get started. This is the one that I have created for study. You can see at the top, we have a collapse option. We have files, we have search and we have start. Here I have open quick switcher. We have open graph view, create a new canvas. And then we have today's daily note. We have insert a template and more. So I'm going to click on insert template to actually get a template for obsidian. There are different kind of templates available. So here I can also insert a template that I have created. Then we have open command palette. So this is where you will actually, as a complete beginner, you will be able to see some of the commands that we can do on obsidian. For instance, you want to save your current file, then you're going to control S. Then we have like follow a link under cursor, toggle pin. Then we have uh, split right, split down, toggle stack tab, rename file. Then we have copy file path and more. So you will be able to get all of these different, uh, you know, commands right here with this option. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new node. So once you hit it, it can create different nodes within one uh, workspace, within one, uh, you know, main our project. So we have for study. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I have selected a dated one. Here, what I can do is I can actually create a schedule for my studying. I am using Obsidian for studying, right? So what I can do is I can create a schedule here. I can insert a template here now. Or what I can do is I can create a table here or something like that. So that's what I'm going to do. So I can just type in whatever I want to in the schedule. I've just added like some days here. I can now add more at the bottom right here. It will show me some of the backlinks. We have words and characters that we have written right here. So in our study, uh, what I have added, I have added a schedule. This is where now I can add anything I want to. You can even insert different tables. You can copy and paste everything here. You can add backlinks. You can add references and more. Moving on, I'm going to create a note here. So it is untitled. Let's give it a name. For instance, here in this note, I am actually taking notes for class one. So I will give it a title. I can start writing here. I will take notes. We can add different headings to the notes. Um, again, we can copy paste a lot of different things from the Internet. If you want to, if you want to copy text from your word, you can copy and paste right here. Uh, so for class one, let's say that I'm taking notes. Uh, I have biology notes that I will be taking right here. So if you're using this on your uh, iPad or something like that, then it becomes actually really easy. It's a note taking uh, a software that you can compare it to Notion. But with Obsidian, it's a more upgraded form and you can use it as a, you know, professional and to take easy notes and you will be able to create folders and again, uh, a lot of different commands that we can use. So in biology notes, now I can just add whatever I want to. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly add some notes here and then I'll show you how I will create a note for another class and how we can manage them better and actually create folders with Obsidian. So this is my note one Then I'm going to create another note from here. You can see we have new note option. So I'm going to go to this one here uh, and I will actually go to this a new note and we can give it a new name. So I have different tabs right here within my one vault. It has like three tabs and I have my schedule, my class one and my class two. Similarly, I can create a new folder here. So for instance, I want to actually separate my study. I want to create different folders for each class. Let's say uh, I have a physics class as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder physics. And then what I will do is within this folder, I can add different tabs. So this will help me organize better. So now I have my main, uh, you know, project study, and then it has a folder, which is physics. Let's create another folder, which is going to be, let's say biology. So these are my classes and I'm going to create another folder 
for instance my chemistry class so right here so i have three folders now and in each folder now i will be able to create different tabs and we can move these different tabs that i already created into different folders so you can see now this biology um, folder has my class one right here my biology notes and i can create new notes into one folder so now it's more organized. You can see I have biology, chemistry, and physics, and each folder has its own notes. Um, similarly, I can change the sort order here and collapse all. Uh, here we have the expand option. Click on expand and it will allow me to check out the different links that I have here. Within Obsidian, what I can do is I can even add backlinks to my notes. So for instance, if we're taking notes on a simple note-taking app or a platform, it does not allow us to add backlinks. So obsidian allows us to do that we can add different links we can uh, add different uh, backlinks to different projects and different notes that we are creating for instance i have created a note in my biology class and i created a note for class run class two there are different chapters and if i want to create a backlink from one note to the other i will be able to do so so all you need to do is you're going to select the text here and then you can just click on backlink uh, add backlink here and this is where you will add the destination of your link where you want the link to take you so this is how we add backlinks in obsidian very easy to use platform and you can download it from uh, by just going to obsidian.mt there is also a pricing plan for obsidian so let me show you so you will have a better idea about the affordability of the platform so you can see this is the pricing plan. We have a personal Obsidian, which is 100% free and there's no account or sign up required. Uh, yes, uh, the account that I was using, it is actually a free version and there was no sign up required for this one. Then we have this one right here, which is Catalyst, Support Development, Early Access to Inside Build and it is actually $25 dollars per month and then we have a commercial for 50 dollars per user per year so this is actually per year here and then we have one-time payment so this is also a one-time payment it's not actually per month um 25 dollars a one-time payment and then we have 50 dollars per user per year not that expensive you're getting obsidian for just like 25 dollars for lifetime so this is actually pretty good and then we have commercial here so you will choose the plan of your choice and then you can also add the obsidian plugin to your apps and websites that will help you organize your notes better here we also have a graph view so if you want to switch to a graph view in obsidian then you will click right here and now it's showing me a graph view of the three notes that i have already created so here i will be able to see my schedule let's open it up and it will open it up for me let's get back to the graph view we have this one uh, the note that I created. This is a simple graph view for people who like to check their notes visually and you will be able to organize them better too. So I can just organize them here. Uh, this is for uh, people who like visual, um, you know, workspace and you will be able to get this graph view very easily. So this is how you use Obsidian. It's actually a really easy to use platform for your note taking and for your uh, management. Go ahead and check it out right now, obsidian.md and download the application to get started. I hope that I was a big help to you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification, and subscribe to YouTube channel.